Skylum just announced a latest Luminar Neo update with the number 1.20.0. While this newest update doesn't offer or bring any new tools or features, it does mark another step towards the improved and updated interface. In this specific updates, there are some really interesting changes for the extensions as well as fixes for a number of the known bugs. In this video, we first gonna look at the list of all the updates and then we move into the application where I'm gonna show you how all the new updates work. Okay, so let's look at the Luminar Neo 1.20 update. Now, once again, it's an update which is focusing mostly on the bug fixes. However, it does bring few improvements. One more time, mostly focusing on the ongoing improvements for the user interface. You will see that as the new updates will arrive, there will be lots of changes around the application and in the design. And this specific update, number 1.20, is focusing on the extensions. So starting from the top of the list, the extensions will change their location and also design. And I will show you all the different places and locations and new design in the application in a moment. Moving forward, the extras panel or the extras tab. If you used extensions in Luminar Neo in past, you may remember that we had to install them through the extras tab. Well, this is now removed. If you have Luminar Neo, all the extensions will be installed automatically and you don't have to do it through the Extras tab. So we will look at the Extras panel one more time in the application and now we can move forward. Now Luminar Neo received the latest translation, this time into the Czech language, which brings the total number of the languages for this application to number 17. Yes, it's true, the Luminar Neo is available in 17 languages. Now, still going through our list, you will also notice some new icons and interface improvements. And on the top of it, one more time, a number of fixes for both Mac and Windows users. Finally, just to mention, since we just heading into the summer, at the end of this video, I will also talk to you about our Luminar Neo Summer Bundle, which is now available for a special price, and it brings incredible summer assets specifically designed for Luminar Neo. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo, where we're gonna look at the different updates. Talking about 17 languages, as I mentioned, Luminar Neo can now be also used in Czech language. However, if you never notice that, to change the language, you have to navigate towards the top left corner of your screen and click on the little arrow or the Luminar Neo logo. Once you do that, you will see an option called language. When you hover over it, it will basically show another part of the menu and here you will see the list of languages. Obviously by default or by default of your system language. I have it in English, but there are other languages available like Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian, and so much more. And to finish it off at the bottom, you can see the Czech language is here. For those who are from Czech Republic, you can now switch it from here and use the application in your own native language. So that's the language. Now moving forward and switching our attention towards the extensions. So first I mentioned the extras panel. So we're gonna navigate towards the top right corner of our screen where we have the option to export the image, but next to it, there is an option to click on extras. This button has changed the location and appearance several times in the past, but now it's located here in the top right corner and it's in this white color. So let's go ahead and click on it. When we do that, it opens a new window. Again, if you used Luminar Neo in past, you will remember that there used to be option for extensions. However, as I mentioned in the text earlier, now if you log in with your account, and again, depending on your subscription or on your plan, if you do own the extensions, they will be installed automatically. So you don't have to come here, you don't have to install them from here, they will just appear in the 
application. So here in the extras now, you have an option to look into the marketplace where you can buy presets, skies, LUTs, overlays and bundles. And you can also check out the X membership. Now we can click on this little red dot to come out and let's move our attention towards the extensions themselves. So first here in the catalog module, we're going to navigate towards the right part of our screen. And if you can't see this panel, you have to click on this little icon here, which allows you to hide it and unhide it. In the past, there was a whole tab called extensions. However, now we have an option from generative tools, which includes all the generative tools like Gen Erase, Gen Swap, and Gen Expand. After that, we now have the merge tools. They include the HDR merge for the HDR photography, focus stacking, and panorama stitching. Finally, at the bottom, we have the resolution enhancement, which does include the upscale extension. If you look closer, you will also notice that the icons in front of the extensions changed and now they look similar to the other icons available in the application. So these are the extensions here in catalog module. After this, we need to move into the edit module. In the edit module, we used to have a section called extensions on the top and you would find here the noiseless AI, super sharp AI and also the magic light AI. Now this change, so on the top we have the image quality tab. Inside you will see the noiseless AI or noiseless raw and the super sharp AI. Now where is the magic light AI? Well, for this we need to go to the bottom of our toolbar into the creative section where now you will be able to find the magic light AI just under the relight AI tool. Finally, since we're mentioning the extensions, we should also mention the background removal AI. And this is still available in the layer properties and masking. Here you will see at the bottom the background removal AI working exactly the same as it did in the past. And there you have it. So those are the latest news and updates for Luminar Neo with the update number 1.20. And just before we go, a quick reminder about our Luminar Neo Summer Bundle. This amazing bundle includes over 786 new summer elements, which will allow you to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, working layers, LUTs, presets, and so much more to transform your summer images in just a few clicks. Now to get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website cleverphotographer.com. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about today's tutorial or Luminar Neo in overall, then make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please go ahead and like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, thank you very much for watching and I already can't wait to see you in the next video.